All right, we are going to be upgrading from the original kill switch and starter only button on the steering wheel controller to this one, which actually has, you know, low beam, high beam. Um, I bought aftermarket headlights or switch controllers to power my lights and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to use those for a different purpose uh, for this bike. Um, Let's check it out. Underglow, so you can see that the headlights on, <coughs> headlights off. But basically, I want to kind of clean that up. If not, if I don't want to continue modifying this, adding more crap to it, so it just really depends on what my daughter wants. But yeah, I'm excited because I can remove that switch and just control everything here. Now the situation is OEM plug, aftermarket plug. It's not the end of the world. All right. I got this off Amazon. I think it's like 15 bucks. Um, it's all from China, right? Just work with what we got. Um, after I took this one off, simply uh, just took a look at the wires inside, matched it up to the pin. Basically, gonna take the remove these pins out of here, reuse this harness, and uh, depin this one, and just move the pins over here. Um, if that doesn't work, if the, these pins are larger than this pin, not at the end of the world, I'll just cut the wires here, cut the wires here, and splice it, and you know, um, and whatnot. But as far as the headlight wires on here, <clears throat> I'm going to continue making uh, a new wiring harness to go to the front light, the rear light, and the rear strobe lights and whatnot. But um, kept on blowing my brake lights uh, that I added on the back. Um, it only happened whenever I started it, and uh, whenever I took this thing apart inside here, as you can probably you can kind of halfway see, it's pretty rusty in there. Um, didn't think that was going to probably be it, but I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, I wanted to get this this bad boy anyways, because like I said, I'm trying to get this thing all cleaned up for my daughter. Please excuse the rat's nest. I know it looks horrible, but it's not forever. All this is just temporary till I can get everything situated where I want it, test it, and then make everything nice and clean. So, uh, here we go. All right, let's... Let's talk about the art of depinning, right? So basically what I'm trying to do is take off the, this is the OEM plug. We want this plug <clears throat> without having to cut the wires off, you know, create more hassle. Um, I'm attempting to depin this real quick. So if you take a look at it, you're going to need a really small screwdriver. All right. See that notch up there? You stick your flathead straight in there. And what you're doing is you see how this has a uh, I don't know what to call it, a detent that's sticking up. So when you stick your screwdriver inside that housing, you're pushing that down. Okay, sometimes you have to push in and then pull it out, and the wire will come out. Doesn't always happen like that. You can kind of halfway see it in here. Let me see if I can do it on camera. Try to be gentle with the plastic because it will mess up. And just defeats the whole purpose of trying to use the using the OEM plug. You don't want to, you know, break any of the plastic or anything like that. So, but yeah, it's that simple. The art of depending, very simple. Now I'm going to depin that other, um, the new one. Depin that. Stick those pins. I cross my fingers that they slide right in there. If they don't, it's not the end of the world. Then I'll just go back to Plan B and cut these, solder them, and heat shrink all that, and uh, you know, use this plug. All right, I was uh, successful in removing the depinning the old pins out of here. Well, first of all, I depinned the original um, starter and kill switch um, controller, right? Took those out because I wanted this. I wanted to try to leave this as much as plug and play as possible. Um, after I took that off, I depinned the old wires. I'm taking the new harness, depinning it, and plugging these wires in here. The new ones and they fit nice and perfect nice and snug okay um show you what's up hook that up right this is this is the light so I'll, I'll fix that here in a minute but try to start it with the kill switch on i'll start then shut it off flawless all right, got the new controller hooked up. Okay, brake on. Test out the headlight switch. Headlight switch works great. 